Hello everyone, welcome back. So for this high ponytail style, I will tease slightly my front hair using a teasing comb. As it will help me to avoid the front flat look which is supposed to happen after making any tight ponytails. And for the ponytails, I do need a special type of comb. Here it is, which has this kind of bristles. Now using the comb, I will gather all of my hair on my crown area. Again combing my hair, I will tie the elastic. But before tying the elastic, I must confirm that there is no bump has formed under my ponytail. Now I will use two elastic bands for my high ponytail. As having thick hair is always been my struggle to keep my high ponytail on exact place for a long time. As now by looking at the ceiling, I will tie my elastics. As this way I can avoid the bump even after tying the elastics. Now for extra safety for this ponytail, I will use two bobby clips under the ponytail like a X shape. Plus to hide the elastics, I will take a small part of hair under the ponytail and by twisting it, I will tie it around the ponytail. After it, by using a bobby clip, I will insert the end here inside the ponytail. end result of my high ponytail. For this puff ponytail, at first I will take my middle part here and for a while I will clip it away by using a clutcher. Now after combing all of my hair, I will make my back high ponytail by using two elastics. By smoothing both the sides, then I will take off the clutcher. I will make a puff and will clip it by using bobby clips. Now I will show you a new trick. As I will spread the hair which belongs to the puff on above the ponytail. And now by taking a small part of hair under the ponytail, I will tie it around both the ponytail and the puffs here. And then we will clip it under the ponytail. Isn't it looking just perfect that no one will guess that both the ponytail and puff were made separately. For this low ponytail, 
I will gather all of my hair on the back after combing and leaving the side part. Then after tying the ponytail, I will try to loose above the ponytail hair to avoid the flat look. As you can see, when I will try to bend my head backward, then there should be the puff above the ponytail. For this side ponytail, again I will gather all of my hair on my one side. After combing and leaving the side part, then I will tie the elastic. And I will loose the hair above the ponytail and leave a small part of hair on my other side. For this half ponytail style, from middle back of my ear, I will take the hair from both of the sides up to my crown area. And after gathering half part of my hair on my crown area, I will try to make a half ponytail. When everything is done, now to hide the elastic, I will take a small part of hair and will tie it around the ponytail. For this middle bubble ponytail, I will do this style with the same half ponytail. As now, I will make another ponytail at the end including the upper ponytail here. By tying hair around the ponytail, I will drag above the ponytail's hair from both of the sides so that it looks like a bubble. this long ponytail, at first by taking middle part of hair, I will make a ponytail. I will take the remaining hair and will make another ponytail just under the first ponytail. Now by losing the elastic from top ponytail, I will insert my two fingers above it and then I will pull through the other ponytail from middle of the top ponytail. By making the end ponytail tighter, I will spread my upper hair on top of it. Now to adjust both the ponytail hair, I will comb it nicely.
After adjusting the font here, I am showing you that how long and voluminous this ponytail has become. And this is how about the ponytail looks like. Hope you liked all of my ponytails. If you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye and see you next time.